What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Amstack here with a, uh, another tips video. We are going to be going over run defense in this video uh, because the run game is super overpowered in this year's game. Uh, it's really difficult to stop the run pretty much from any formation. Uh, people have been spamming inside zone, uh, stretch, dive. If you've played online, you've experienced all these things. It's very difficult to deal with. Okay. Um, in this video, we're going to be talking about the strategy behind stopping the run. I'm not necessarily going to give you a one play fixes all type thing. I want you to try this strategy in your favorite defensive formations and see what works, what doesn't, um, but kind of use this theory to build your run defensive scheme. Okay. Um, in this video, we're going to be using the Cowboys on offense because they have the best run blocking O-line in the game. It's probably the best regs team in the game right now. Um, and we're going to be using the Jets defense because it's not a great defense. Um, I want to show you that it's not uh, necessarily that you have to have great players in order to stop the run. Um, you just need the right strategy behind it. Okay. Um, at the end of the day, Madden is a video game. It's a series of zeros and ones. It's coding. The offensive line is coded to block a certain way from runs. Okay, so you have to just figure out what that is and how to get around it. All right, the formations um, we're going to be trying this out against are going to vary. We're going to start out in the trips tight end. Then we're going to go to bunch tight end. We're going to go um, these spreads. Like this isn't necessarily a spread set, but trips tight end is a super popular formation that's not a compressed set. Okay, and then I'll go with bunch tight end that is a compressed set because it's slightly different when I defend it. All right, uh, inside zone. Now, the formation I'm using is 3-4 odd, and we're going to be in cover 4 drop show 2. Now, the reason we're using a cover 4 to stop the run is that their run fits bring the safeties into play. Okay, If you want to learn how to check the run fits on all these different types of plays, you press both triggers or R2 and L2 on the PlayStation, you hit X for the left-sided run or B for the right-sided run, and it shows you where everybody is supposed to go, okay? Um, against trips tight end, base align. Now, before we even do anything, all right? The run game is a numbers game, right? The run is going to the left. Currently, in this play, they have the center, the left guard, the left tackle, and the slot receiver that are going to be responsible for blocking that left side. They have four. We have four. We have the nose guard. We have the defensive end, the outside linebacker, and the inside linebacker. So right now, it's an even matchup. Even if we were to uh, put better players here, say that, for instance, that outside linebacker, right? He's being blocked by a receiver. It doesn't matter. If they can bounce that run out, then on the outside, there's plenty of grass, okay? So we need to keep this thing inside, right? We need to go to the strength of our defense, right? We also need to figure out a way to get a numbers advantage on that side of the ball now, all right? So what I've been doing and what's been working is out of this play, shift the linebackers to the left. Now this middle linebacker is in play on this left side of the ball, but he can play right side as well. So he can play strong side and cut back, right? Now we have five on that side, right? We want to bring another defender in so that this right guard can't climb to the second level and go pick off the linebacker. Now the right guard has to choose, is he going to take this safety or this middle linebacker? Because on the right side of the ball, we have the right guard, the right tackle, and the tight end one two three defenders plus a fourth swing defender which is that middle linebacker the the excuse me the offensive line targets and takes into account any player within a four to five yard radius of the offensive line when the ball is snapped okay so right now just to count everybody one two three four five six seven eight defenders against seven uh, blockers. They have to somehow account for one more person than they can block. They can't. That's the whole key behind it. So they have to account for everybody that's in this area. Usually what I'll do is I'll use this safety. I'll stand behind this defensive end, okay? And at the snap of the ball, run down and get in the backfield. Now, I didn't get in the backfield and get a hit stick. That's okay. Let's take a look at the replay. <clears throat> Look at the way the offensive line blocks this. Double team. 
then one of these guys is going to have to climb to the next level. To climb to the next level to get this guy. Then this guy, then, blah, excuse me, then the left guard releases off the defensive end, but he releases too late, okay? This guy is technically a free runner. This guy will shed. And then our user comes through as well to stop the cutback. So we're funneling everything right into the middle. There's this big bubble that we just created. There's really nowhere for the defense or the running back to go. Okay. Now there's other times where this defense you'll get more of a clean look um, coming through the middle, which you can also do. And uh, what sometimes works when you shift this line or excuse me, the linebackers to the left, you'll see that the D lines it contains crash the line up. And sometimes it gives you a bigger hole to run through at the snap of the ball. Or you get picked up by the tight end. Either way, you're creating that funnel, all right? Crash up, shift the linebackers, usually stand right behind the D end, maybe slightly to the inside so the uh, tight end can't pick you up, and they run it, okay? That's actually perfect. That's picture perfect. This is going to take some practice because I'm not even perfect at it yet. Um, this is definitely going to take some practice and uh, some reps um, online and in practice mode. But you'll see we were able to come in free. The middle linebacker is currently unblocked. This guard pulls off too late to try to get us, and so does the tackle. So now we have two blockers not doing anything, right? We have a win situation outside, which you should always have a win situation outside in this set because that's a wide receiver on a, a linebacker. Your linebacker is probably not very good. There's always going to be a linebacker on every single roster that you can put out there that will beat a wide receiver. The wide receiver run blocking is not very good this year. So you get a win on the outside. You get our user free. He has nowhere to go. And this linebacker has already penetrated and gotten leverage on this guard. He's too late to come out and block him. He's too late to peel off. So that's how we've been, I can't even talk. That's how we've been bottling up the run. The inside zone in specific okay now I want to take a look at bunch tight end because you remember how I said that the blocking is in a five yard radius of the offensive line well that also includes the wide receivers so if you run inside zone from a compressed set they're going to take into account everybody in that box okay the uh, formation I'm gonna be running out of in this next example is gonna be bunch tight end because I think it's probably the best inside zone in the game there might be something a little bit better, maybe tight offset tight end's good. This one is really ridiculous because there's the three wide receivers that will come down and um, attack the uh, anybody that's in their way. All right. So we're gonna go back out and we're gonna go into bunch tight end. Inside zone. We're gonna come out in our cover four. Welcome base line. Now, these three receivers are going to be attacking uh, the... They're going to be attacking the outside linebacker. I got the wrong controller, man. Outside linebacker, middle linebacker, and then they'll either climb to the safety or the corner. It's usually going to be the safety because when we're in cover four, they're in the run fit. They're going to drop down first, okay? What we need to do is now they have a numbers advantage. Even if I were to shift this guy over, they still have a numbers advantage on us, all right? So what we need to do is... We're gonna press, okay? Now, because I moved him, he's not coming up. Now, he's kind of in that block. Remember that block we talked about? This safety is now in that block of where they're going to try to uh, seal off defenders, okay? So they're gonna start taking notice of this safety, okay? Now, we can get a numbers advantage, all right? So is the, well, the corner is also now part of that equation as well because they're within a five yard radius of that receiver, okay? So the receiver at the snap of the ball on the outside, this guy right here should attack the corner. This guy right here is either gonna climb to the middle linebacker or the outside linebacker, and this guy will go to the safety. Same deal with our user right here. We're gonna stand right in this spot, run straight down, and the middle linebacker was free at that time. It's gonna take some practice. Like I said, I'm not the best at it yet. I forgot to crash up. Remember to crash up. Snap the ball, you're free. Okay, crash up. Crash up seems to be working the best. 
That way also, if they snap the ball and they go to pass, this defensive end is not in a contain where he won't do anything. Um, actually, both defensive ends really won't do anything in a contain unless they're lined up outside of the tackles anyways. So you're better off just rushing the passer. So baseline press, shift linebackers to the left, to the strong side of the formation. You want to stand right behind this defensive end. Remember, crash up on the D-line. It should look whoop, should look like this. I just passed committed by accident, so this is probably going to be bad. I'm still getting used to the other controls of this game. Uh, it used to be LB to switch the defensive line adjustments. Now it's not. So snap the ball. Even though I passed committed, we almost got in. Let's do that again the right way. So baseline press against compression. Crash up. Shift the linebacker to the left. Okay. Snap of the ball. Almost got in. That enough. That, or that would be enough to scare a user to try to bounce that outside. Just seeing your guy almost come in free, they would start moving to that left side where we have strength. Okay. Now, what you're going to have to pay attention to in this, if they start motioning receivers out, that means they're trying to get a one on one matchup and they're trying to burn you deep on that press. So you need to just reset the play. Just reset the play. So if I were to do this baseline press, do this, shift this guy out. All you have to do is hit X and left trigger. Baseline shift left. Oh, excuse me. Shift the linebacker left. All right. Simple as that. Don't get burned deep because you're not paying attention. All right. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Like I said, try this with your favorite formations. Try this strategy, okay, because I think this is the way to do it. Um, it's really been slowing the run game down for me personally, um, and I hope you guys have a ton of success with this. Remember to subscribe to the channel. Check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash mstack42. Uh, I stream all the time. The link is in the description, and thank you guys. Good luck and lock up.